Welcome back everybody, my name is Always and welcome to the second video of JavaScript Essential Training Series. In the first video I actually mentioned that I'll be using Atom as a text editor for JavaScript coding, but actually I changed my mind so we'll be using Visual Studio Code. Well, it doesn't really matter which text editor you use, it's all up to you, but I'll be using Visual Studio Code. So I've already downloaded this Visual Studio download it from code.visualstudio.com. I drop a link in the description and uh, there you go. That's our code and I have the project open. How do you open the project? You simply go to the file menu and then click on open and here you need to select the folder. So if you don't have any folder, create an empty folder, select that and just open it. Well, I have here one file. I have a few CSS files as well, but we're not using them. I have this uh, index.html file and that's pretty much it is. And the cool thing about this editor is that you see those icons here as well. These are really cool and you can download some extensions by clicking on this button and then here you can see what extension I have downloaded to work with the JavaScript. So I have the Beautify, Dracula Official, this is a theme, guides and so on. We need to know a few things before we write our Hello World application in JavaScript. So JavaScript is a case sensitive language. This means that the language keyword, variable, function names and any other identifier must always be taught with a consistent capitalization of letters. I'm going to write JavaScript code within my HTML file. Well, in the bigger applications, we don't really write JavaScript and HTML together. We create a separate file and write our code there and link that JavaScript file to our HTML file. Now, let's delete this H1 and I'm going to write a JavaScript code now. So, we start with a tag on, we type script, we type language, so LAN, type JavaScript, and then type type here we type text slash java script close the tag go to the next line open tag with the slash close it okay so now i'm going to type an uh, javascript function i'm going to write a statement in javascript now between these script tags so let's say we want to pop up a message on a web page saying hello world. So how do we do that? For that we type alert and then open parentheses, add double quotation because we are going to write a string to the message. So let's type hello world, get out from the quotation, get out from the parentheses and you make sure that you type semicolons. Make sure you type add semicolon at the end because that's the way you write a statement in JavaScript. This is the syntax and uh, if you forget this, your JavaScript might not work. So make sure you type the semicolon, don't forget to type semicolon. Now I'm going to save the file, let's go to the browser, I'm going to refresh this. Once I refresh the page, I get this pop-up message, hello world. I know it looks funny, it looks weird, like no one uses it anymore. But uh, this is where we start learning JavaScript or any other language. We write the Hello World program first. Now let's go back and here I'm going to delete this uh, statement and we're going to write another statement. Now let's say you want to write Hello World onto your page using JavaScript. So for that we type document.write and then open parentheses, add quotation and then type the message whatever you want to write there. So in this case, we're writing hello world, get out from your uh, quotation and parentheses, add a semicolon. Let's save it. Let's go back to the browser. I'm going to click OK and I'll refresh the page and there it goes. So our JavaScript is working. Next thing I want to talk about, why we put this script in the body tag? Why we can't put that in a head tag? Well, let me give you an example. I'm going to move this body uh, from body tag and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it to head tag and then I'm going to just fix up the identification and here we are going to type h1 tag close it and then type hello world this is a java application sorry javascript because java is my favorite language 
I've worked in Java a lot, so I keep saying Java. It's actually JavaScript. So JavaScript application, close h1 tag. And now I'm gonna save this file and instead of writing a hello world to the document, I'm going to use the alert tag. So alert, remember JavaScript is uh, case sensitive, so we can't type alert in a capital letters. So open it, type hello world. Now, if you notice that we have this uh, h1 tag in a body, right? Well, when we refresh the page, it should write this hello world and it should write, it should pop up the message as well saying hello world, right? Let's see what happens. I'm going to refresh the page and then I will see that hello world is there, but the actual page did not refresh. To give you an, a proper example, let's close this and we are going to open the browser again. Right click and open in browser. And there you go. So you can see that we got the hello world, but we're not seeing our H1 tag which says hello world, this is a JavaScript application. Why is that? Because when the browser comes to this line, it alerts this message. It pop ups this message and stop everything else. So, this is very important that you put your JavaScript code at the bottom so your page loads completely and then the JavaScript comes to work. JavaScript supports both C style and C++ style comments as well. So any text between the comments will be grayed out, will not be read by a browser compiler. So how do we write the comments in JavaScript? So let's say we want to grade this out. So what I will do, I will just type backslash twice and this is now comment out. So the JavaScript compiler won't read this. Now, if you want to add a comment to multiple lines, so let's say if we remove this comment here and I'm gonna just copy and paste this few times. So just copy them, copy that statement, paste it few times and you wanna comment out all these three lines, right? So what would you do? We'll just add backslash and static, and then you go down and make space, and then add static and then backslash again. So this is how you can uh, define the comments in JavaScript. Comments are very useful. Let me give you an example. Let's say you are working on a bigger project and there are like 10 people working on the same project. And you made an edit to this index.html file and one of your colleague comes back to this file and see it's been changed and uh, how would he find out that what's been changed the only way he can find out what's been changed in the file if you have written the comments by saying oh i made this change so comments are very useful every programming language offer to write comments so it's available in pretty much every language now let's learn how we can attach our JavaScript external file into our HTML file. Now, if your application becomes bigger and bigger, it's the go-to way that you put your all your JavaScript code into a separate file. Well, it would be easier to read, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to delete this tag for now, and then we are going to create a new file. So I'm going to click on scripts, actually right click, click on new file and I'm going to name the file script.js. So JavaScript has an extension of .js. So remember that I'm going to press enter to create the file. So this is our file. Now we need to attach this file into our index.html to make it work. Well, we have seen what are the benefits of uh, adding script tag into the body at the bottom. For that, I'm going to go to in body tag and we are going to add a script tag. So type script, type, and here we're going to type Java script. And then I'm going to type source. And then here we can define our folder first. So folder is scripts slash script.js and now Visual Studio Code did not write .js so make sure you add .js and then get out from the quotation close it and close it with the script tag okay let's save the file now our file has been attached there's one thing you can do here is you can type text slash javascript 
All right, let me save the file. And now I'm gonna go to script.js. And here we're going to type alert. And here we'll type is the file attached. Make sure you put the semicolon at the last, save the file. Now we go to the browser and we open this file. So I'm going to right click here, click on open in browser. And there you go. So we got our JavaScript working. Is this file attached? And click OK. And now, hello world, this is the Java application. All right, so now we have learned how to type JavaScript code within HTML file and how to attach our JavaScript file, uh, external file to our index.html. All right, so in the next video, we are going to learn about variables in Java.